Hey YouTube, this is your homeboy Seth Martial Art Fitness and it's been kind of a rainy, boring day. I mean, nothing much ain't going on. Um, I was kind of been sitting around watching the Rocky, some of my Rocky movies. Last night I just got done watching Rocky 3 and 4 off the DVD collection and then I turned around and watched the fifth one today and um, the fifth one is one I like the best because you know it reminds people back like when they go through hard times you know you know life is never gonna be easy um, that's the only reason why I do like the fifth Rocky um, movie because it kind of brings that okay yeah, there is hope, even though when their times are hard, you know, there are, is hope when, you know, you feel like you're feeling down or whatever, you know, it's just, you just got to push through it, you got to push through the pain, you got to push through the hurt, you know, just keep moving, and those inspirations of the movies of the Rocky Trilogy, they inspired me when I was younger, and they're the reason why the Rocky Trilogy is what got me in the box. And ever since then, I, I fell in love with boxing. Um, and then I turned around and then after watching Bruce Lee, and you know, he's my other motivated, motivator person in, in fighting. Even though Sloan's not really a fighter, even though he can fight, you know, I know he can. I know he can kick ass if he really wanted to. Because his Rambo movies, and, I mean, he got so ripped in those. I mean, I don't care, but yes, they use steroids to cheat. Yes, everybody cheats in order to get muscles. You know, they say they they don't use anything, and they're all jacked and swole and everything. They're using some type of drug. They're using some type of performance enhancers. Um, really, technically. More technically, is that when when people tend to see the chi on their muscles instead of earning them their own way, and for my whole years, I I never really used pre workout until I worked at this job. I mean, because the job I'm at now, it, it just wears me out so bad. I mean, when I come home, I mean, I'm always hurting, I'm sore, whatever. I mean, I just deal with the pain. But when I need an energy boost, that's the reason why I go to the pre-workout. And and um, I drink, I pour it in water, I stir it up, and then I drink it, and then I'm full of energy. All it is is just like caffeine. And caffeine and water, pretty much. Sugar and water, pretty much. And that's all pre-workout is, but it's all those added other chemicals in it too that's what makes it more effective because um, it, it's got vitamins in it and it helps you put more reps in when you feel like you can need to do more reps or, or if you feel like you can't do more reps it helps you put in those extra reps when you're taking pre-workout and that's the thing you know a lot of people say pre-workout is cheating in a way it varies but it's really not cheap you know if you use soda or if you use coffee you know naturally you know if you drink soda you can coffee whatever naturally you're still getting sugar in you you're still getting that caffeine in you to get through your workout and um it's just like that, you know, you're just putting something bad in your body, and that's what it is, and, um, and, but the thing it is, you know, this is my weakness here, I'm Mountain Dew, and I have other weaknesses too, but I'm not going to ex explain to them, because nobody else needs to know my bad weaknesses. I mean, other than that, I do like to drink, you know, once in a while, um, but that's my only bad bad thing that I have. But the thing of it is, is that 
when life gets you down and you know or you're having a bad day um, you just gotta learn to let things go it happened yesterday you know that's what I keep telling people all the time you know you need to let people you need you know if somebody's bad in your, in your life you know they're treating your family like shit or you know they're not being a good friend uh, you know I'm not getting back to you um, whatever Time to let them go. Time to move on. You know, time to do your own thing. And that's the thing, man. Um, shine your own light in your darkness. Because, you know, the way I see it every time, um, people always say this. You know, in my life, there's always darkness. And I'm like, well, you gotta want to believe there's light in your darkness. I say if you draw that darkness to you, you're always gonna be in the dark. And so, I told one of my friends that the other day, and like, they were complaining about, oh, their life sucks, and you know, and all that, and that basically, And I, I just told, her, told him, I just basically said, you know, me, you know, everybody likes, everybody life sucks to some point. It's on how you handle it, how you get it done, how you overpower the crappiness in your life. And, you know, look at the brighter side. You know, you're still alive, aren't you? You know, that's what I always tell people, you're still alive. And they're like, you know. I'm like, well, then okay, then what is your life still bad on? And I said, are you just tired of everybody complaining around your family on things? Are you tired of, um, you know, people messing up on on things around you? Or are you tired of not having teamwork? Or what? is and um usually nine out of ten they'll say either it's family stuff you know family drama or you know if it's a woman they'll say oh it's a guy problem or if it's a man and sometimes they'll say a woman problem and um you know no matter the circumstances in life no matter what you're going through in life um there always is a light of that time in, in that darkness you know you got to be able to find that light you got to be able to find it in your heart to keep pushing keep moving forward and you know because life's going always going to throw punches at you and sometimes you got to learn to bob and weave you know i always tell people that i know since i love the fight i love the i love i love the training in martial arts and and you know as a hobby i mean more of a hobby than anything and uh, i do it for fun i mean i don't really do it i mean i do it for self-defense too but i do it for fun because it passes up the time when i feel like you know life's really, really boring you know you know what am i going to do when i retire you know it's going to be too quiet and so that's the reason why i get up and train you know where I don't hear the quietness. That's the reason why I get to stay active. And a lot of people don't really stay active. They want to just pout, you know, over and over and over about, you know, things. And they wonder why, why. Why them, you know, the pity self-talk over them. And the reason why I say that is because I admit I'm one of those people too. And it's okay to be one of those people because when you are one of those people, you know that you are one of them. And, but yet, you try not to complain to people about your problems because when you do, that person can go up to the next person and talk crap about you. And even though they say they're your friend, but yet they're really not. And so, it's like. It's like a double-edged sword in a way, you know? You never know which side 
you don't get cut on. Um, but no matter what in life, you know, if you're going through financial problems, um, anxiety problems, depression, or um, being alone, or if you feel like you're alone, um, you're really not alone. You know, everybody has the same problems, um, same category, same options as you, just in different ways, different environments. And, um, you're not perfect. You know, if you, if you think you're perfect in every way, uh, I'm sorry, I, I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. You know, God is the one who we trust. And it says in the you know, United States American Constitution that it's God is who we trust. It's God who we trust. So, you know, I'm not pushing Christianity on anybody. But the thing of it is, is that when, when you know you're going through a hard time, most people, 9 out of 10, will go to God for their answers. They'll go to, they'll go to Him or either that, they'll go to their higher power. And even though one of my other friends asked me this, you know, what, you know, how do you know if there's a God? Or how do you know if there's a heaven? And, and I told, and I, and I explained to him, I said, I've seen some things in my life. And I said, I know there's a heaven. And I know there's a hell. And I know there's angels. And I know there's demons. I, I know, um, there is a God. And a lot of people tend to see the Lord. And uh, me, it's like, even though I don't go to church, you know, on my bad days, you know, when I'm training, there are times I, I when I'm listening to my music, I'm not really listening to it, but I just have it where I just plug out the noise around me where I focus. And, um, but really what I'm doing is I'm connecting to my higher power. And I'm telling them, give me strength, comfort me, and do whatever I'm going through. And what I mean by that is that uh, to help me to overcome my inner self problems. And the thing is, you know, he'll listen, but you gotta want it for yourself. And when, when I took that time off from work, um, I learned, and I talked to everybody in my family. They was all supportive about about what I had to say. And everything and I was carrying a lot of stuff on me and a lot of stuff and and I told my uncle about it and I said I don't want to tell grandma about it I don't want to tell nobody else about this stays between me and you man to man and, and I said I respect you as an uncle and I said I don't want to lose that respect and and so he said, okay, we sat down, we had coffee, we talked, and I just told him how I was feeling on the inside, I was telling him uh, what I was thinking about a lot and everything else, and I was just like, my uncle told me, he was like, Man, sounds like to me you have a drugs problem. And when I asked him what he mean by that, I mean, because when things don't go your way, you get mad about things and you hold grudges on it. And he says, you kind of just need to learn to let it go. It's just life. It's just, it's just, um, 
it's just a job or it's just problems. You know, when things don't go your way, always always look at the brighter side, you say. You know, it could be worse. And so when he said that on my last four days of vacation, I did a lot of training. Um, learned a few new things in my training. Um, basically, basically, you know, I just learned us to let things go and not take things too serious anymore. And, um, uh, you know, it's like, Miyota Masashi, the Buddha code, the walking alone, the book of walking alone, it says, let things go, die of yesterday. It means letting go of the past, instead of holding a grudge, and holding on to it. And sometimes that's easier than set it down. And when my uncle told me that, that's like the third person that's told me that. And... So when the third person told me the same thing as the other two persons did, I figured I need to figure this out. And, and I need to calm down. And then when I start calming down, start realizing and doing some meditation and like doing some Tai Chi and stuff, moving meditation and clearing the mind, being outside in nature and stuff like that. And, um, I pretty much, cleared my head a little bit because of negative energy and because that negative energy was taking a toll on my body, it was taking a toll on me and I didn't want that negative energy in me. And, that, and that's the thing. And when when you feel like you have negative energy in you all the time, you, you can't think straight, you can't act right, you can't be yourself. You know, you start losing people around you. Um, you know, anger leads to a lot of things. You know, like, as once, you know, the once one wise Jedi says off Star Wars, right? You know, anger leads to the dark side. Fear, hatred, it leads to the dark side. Jealousy, it leads to the dark side. And that's not the Jedi way. And to me, I'm not a Jedi, but I do have a good, good heart. But it's just, you know, I do get my moments. And, you know, from that, from that, I learned my lessons too and when you learn the lessons you learn to let things go not hurt you know hold grudges you know you just move on and that's what it was teaching me it was teaching me to have a lesson and when I figured that lesson playing out in my head I just basically thought to myself, okay, that's the problem. I need to quit holding grudges. And so there I have, and I mean, I I, I just basically just let everything go, and I just said, you know what? I let everything go, and I hold grudges anymore, and like I said, I'm just trying to be the better person that I am, and you know, make myself strong. Uh, make myself feel better, and I'm not, I'm not wanting to, you know, be negative all the time, because, you know, I'm more of a people's person, you know, I like to have people around, you know, I like to help people out, you know, listen to them, you know, talk to them, whatever it may be, you know, about, and to me, and if I can make somebody smile throughout the day, on what you know they think 
Excuse me. On what they think. Then, or either what, if they're having a bad time at home, or they're having a bad time at work, or if they're out in public, and if I've known them for a long time, you know, if I see that they're having a tough face, I can make them put a smile. Because, you know, I always tell them, it could be worse. I mean, no matter what, no matter if I'm having a bad day or not, I always try to put a smile. That's all there is. There is to always try to put a smile. Because learn to let things go. And try not to overstress and overthink things. And just let it flow. And that's the thing. You know, a lot of people don't realize that. When they feel like, oh, they just got to do, do it all the time. And not for themselves. But really you really got to do for yourself than more for others more for others will come later but you can do more for yourself because you want to help grow yourself you want to help yourself be a better person than what you really are and um that's the thing and when you know when you're in that darkness you gotta figure out you know where's your light at you know there's always a light in that darkness. You gotta be able to find that light. And you gotta be able to want to keep that light. Because when you, when you feel empty on the inside, the emotions and everything else, and um, like I said, you just gotta learn to let it go. And go with the flow. And you just keep moving. So like I said, you know, life is like a boxing match, you know, life is cool. always going to throw punches, you know, you just got to just learn, learn to weave, dodge them, move out of the way, block them, you know, do what you got to ever do to counter back, you know, at life, you know, you got to be able to bob and weave, block, wherever, and whatever hit hitting you, and just counter back at life, and, you know, say, I'm not going down, and, you know, and, you know, that's what you got to believe in yourself. Most of all, you got to believe you're in yourself in the darkest hour. And when you believe in yourself in the darkest hour, you can do anything you want in life. And um, you can push through it. You got to push through it. You got to be able to, you know, stay with it. You got to be able to um, manifest it. Because when you stay in the dark too long, Your attitude starts to change, and then when you when you start to change, people start to notice. And you just need to come out of the dark into the light. And I know I'm not talking about death, but that's another topic for later. But just basically, see light in the darkness. I said there's always light in the darkness, no matter how hard life is or anything. You gotta learn to let things go. And learn to heal yourself. Otherwise, you're going to deal with that burden the rest of your life. And like I said, you know, but most of all, I always say this at every end of my videos. Be yourself. Be who you are. Train hard. Train smart. Do your research. But also, grow on yourself. And like I said, God bless and peace. And I'll see you in the next video. Please hit the like and subscribe. Hit that bell, and like I said, it's always be yourself, but no matter what in life, you know how hard it gets, just dodge those punches, counter back, and, or, if there's darkness, there's always light, so there you have it, never give up on yourself, please hit the like, subscribe, hit that bell notification, you'll get every one of my videos, and I'll see you in the next video, peace.